All right, starting my day. I just came back from dropping off my son. I didn't get to do what I needed to do, which was um, go straight to the post office and do my and um, drop off a box and see if my mailbox had received my 300 physical leads yet. But um, now that I don't have my little one with me for a while, I can start to hustle and repack the box that I need to send out and a couple of other errands that I have in mind. So that's my day for today. So I'm not gonna have time to pack this up and fold it because I actually have a lunch date with a friend of mine. I haven't seen her in a while, so we're gonna go hit up Panera and just chit chat and be the little baby in my tummy and myself because I still need to run to the post office. I will probably pack this up in my trunk. That's what I tend to do. I usually have extra packing tape and scissors and markers in the back just because sometimes my husband needs me to send stuff for him um, while he's traveling at work. And so, um, but yeah, that's uh, my plan. And hopefully I get my physical leads in the mail. Um, everybody got their payments, the three people that I needed to send to, my uh, first level person that brought me in, the person that brought him in, and six figure uh, stamp club that needed their their uh, fee for office handling and whatnot so they got that on Monday and now it's Monday so it's been a week and I did get um, a couple of days later I believe I got the welcome uh, digital welcome kit and I'll have to show you guys that later I also wanted to see how six figure uh, stamp clubs um, assorted colored um, envelopes would be so I did some research and I couldn't really find anything that I wanted to um, purchase at this time I was looking for different colored um, envelopes that would be um, eye-catching for direct mail and I just wanted to add my little touches to it um, just for fun and see if that would attract more uh, people opening up the mail or whatnot. So I printed out their order form and this is all public you guys can check it out um, on their page on their order page that you print out it uh, the order form has let me show you guys all right so this order form shows you the um, leads of opportunity seekers and what you would pay for them as a member and as a non-member you could also once joining this program you you could also um, sell the leads if people want them um, at the non-member price but letting them know that they could possibly get it at a lower cost as a member will benefit them but anyways, the assorted color envelopes. I'll have to guys. Um, I'm a, I will have to show you guys online what um, it looks like. It's just a bunch of reds, and I think there's greens and purples, and just eye-catching colors. But anyways, I thought the price seemed okay. So, three hundred for uh, thirty dollars for members and non-members would be forty dollars. But it says they do only accept cash so you would have to send out cash and what I liked about it was the free shipping and it looked like in the picture that it was um, it was peel and stick so but yes but um, here is their ironclad 100% delivery guarantee meaning if you mail out these letters to the leads and they come back to you they will actually refund you either in funds or the stamps and uh, you have 30 days to show them that and ship it out. The, uh, you just take out your, you would just have to take out your letters that, that's in there. And um, sorry, I can't catch my breath because having to carry another little baby in your tummy is um, a lot of hard work and my back hurts. But anyway, so you would just take out your letter and ship them the, 
the envelope that shows the little um, the yellow saying the yellow sticker saying that we couldn't deliver it and whatnot or sometimes uh, you do get a forwarding address on that so you could just take that and forward it to them and hopefully they receive it receive it at that location so that's what I'm gonna fill out um, I'm gonna go ahead and also when I go to the post office drop this off so so I'm uh, returning an eBay item, checking my P.O. box for my leads, and uh, planning on ordering the assorted envelope. And I think I do have a place or a site that I'm going to order the stamps as well because um, when you shop and use this app, you get a certain percentage off or you get a certain percentage of money back. And eventually it does kind of add up. I use it first before I... I try to see if an item has money back before I go on Amazon. It just depends on what I need. So I'll probably post about that later and share it with you guys. But in a nutshell, that's my schedule. And all this before I have to pick up my son that goes to day daycare very part time, just two days a week so that way mom can get some stuff done and I can rest and you know, but yeah, that we are able to fit that in our budget so that way um, I can do the grocery shopping, which I have to do today. I'm sorry, I'm just chit-chat, but I'm just trying to get out here before I do lunch with my friend and hopefully I can um, put some makeup on and all that. But at this, at this, with this fourth pregnancy, it's just weird. My skin is just so uh, sensitive. Like I stopped wearing jewelry, I stopped wearing makeup, anything that I had to apply on my face. The first few months was just, I was just so sensitive. All the um, clothing material that had certain blends in it just affected my skin. I didn't want it touching my skin. And a funny thing is with my third one, I was never really, um, I was never really into um, trying beer or alcohol or drinking and no I didn't drink when I was pregnant with him my third one but after um, he was born and after the uh, breastfed him for some time I decided to um, I just had I just wanted some like you know I would try my husband's Heineken or whatever beer he had at the time at the restaurant and I would also just you know buy like fruit fruit girl drinks or stuff like that but um it's just really weird and i became more i don't want to say creative because i've always had ideas in my head but i would never put them down and while i was pregnant with my third one my ideas if i had it i was able to put it down and um what is the word I just execute it and you know, if it was for my son's birthday party, little things, a poster board, a dinosaur poster board, I would just look at a picture and it was just crazy. Like, because years ago, I would always just keep ideas in my mind. So, but yeah, so I hope, um, but I hope you learned something from my video. I just wanted to just chit chat. This is just, this is just the way I want to do you know, the videos, it's not really, uh, this is what you need to do first and that, it's just, I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there that explains everything and, you know, um, what you need to do for the Six Figure Stamp Club, but I'm just documenting my ideas and thoughts and, you know, um, experience, so, yeah, see you guys. Lighting is good, but I look tired. <laughs> Okay, so it's 11.23, totally am running out of time. I only have time to check my mailbox and drop off my envelope order form. Um, and then meet my friend for lunch at noon. So then I'll have to come back to the post office and drop off my eBay box. And in a little bit more of a um, uh, uh, not so hurried state of mind and frame. So this is a bummer. I didn't get my leads yet. Um, I'm typically not a very patient person unless um, I really have to be. But honestly, I think they just have so many signups happening right now that um, they're trying to catch up. And they did send us an email letting us know that 
uh, things have been busy, but I got some mail from the post office um, itself. But I'm assuming this is the paperwork that I need to bring in order to show proof for the informed delivery. And I was just trying to set it up online. Um, I tried after uh, 72 hours, I tried it again, but I answered the questions again and I didn't, it didn't go through. So, um, so I don't know, this is um, just saying that they were aware that I was trying to do the inv informed delivery. So I'm assuming this is the validation code. So I'm going to try this and hopefully I'll be able to save some gas money and trips and whatnot. Um, also, I wanted to say that uh, today is April 29th and um, right now the six figure stamp club is going, um, they extended they extended their promotion. It ended April 15th, but then they extended it till April 30th. And I started, I am at the $300 level. And I upgraded, I got upgraded and bumped up to the $1,000 um, unlimited cash bonus. And so I got that for free because um, I sent in my information. Um, my mailing was postmarked before the, April 30th. So that's how I got upgraded. And so I'm not sure everybody, um, all the other members and the ones that are more knowledgeable are saying that they don't know if they'll do another extension of this. So if you want to look for information, um, I have my PDFs below um, for the link to get more information on all the levels. I have all four, level, all four levels up there because I'm at... Um, those levels so if you want to read into it um, you're more than welcome to um, let's see what else can I say but yeah that's how I jumped from 300 to the $1,000 level unlimited cash uh, level um I think that's it off to lunch in a little box this my <laughs> honestly please excuse the mess I just tossed this all in this box but anyways I just have this trusty to the color mascara color and just a little oops, cotton uh, foundation thing and Sephora this is one of my favorite um, things all right so people are just going to think that I'm using my camera as a mirror, which is fine because I'm really, I'm not used to vlogging. Um, I'm not used to vlogging in front of people in public. This kind of just evens out my skin tone for now, even though I don't know how with the dark circles. Ooh, it's burning up in here. I have it on high. Okay. This is just to even out my skin tone. I mainly get discoloration around my nose, under my eyes. <laughs> I'm not a makeup guru. <laughs> but anyways. I'm going to have to look at a mirror because... I, I honestly cannot use my phone like some people. So, oh, what I've learned, do not use lotion or oils on your skin right before you curl your lashes because, oh my goodness. I was on vacation one day and I, my hand slipped because it was oily from the lotion or the oil I was using and most of my eyelashes fell out. I wanted to cry. <laughs> I had to fake it. I had some stragglers left there. I showed my husband and he was like, whoa, what happened? But I don't think you could tell in pictures. I didn't take any close-up pictures. I'm just glad that the hair follicles weren't ripped out. 
So for me, I just do my top lashes for now, only because um, when I put it on the bottom lashes, it gives me raccoon eyes. I haven't found the the right kind of mascara that that won't rub off like that. Oh goodness. Um, a lip color. I don't have my lip balm with me, but this is what it looks like right here. Mm. Just give it enough color. So, that's it. I'm not too much in of a crazy mood to put crazy makeup on or crazy li uh, loads of makeup on. All right, I'm just chit chatting. Off to lunch. All right, I just had lunch at Panera. Excuse me, uh, we ended up going to uh, BJ's restaurant. Um, let's see. So my friend, um, she eats, uh, or she prefers gluten-free. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so that didn't work out. So my friend prefers gluten-free um, choices. And which is fine with me and when I went online they were saying that the restaurants around my area uh, the choices that possibly had gluten-free were Panera which ended up not being true in our case in our location I think she was asking for a certain chili but they didn't have it they said they used to but they didn't and then the only option she had was the salad and I just didn't want to have her just have that only option whatever type of salad they had so Chipotle also offers gluten-free apparently and BJ restaurant. So we ended up going to BJ restaurant and I always order the salmon with the, um, the salmon with the, oh, what is it called? The, oh, I'm going to think about it. salmon with it's like okay I'm gonna have to cut this part out but anyways and she ended up getting a really full packed salad with chicken and some other um, artichoke pieces in there and everything else that it just looked really good but I was craving the salmon so now I, I know I always feel like I'm in my car. I'm always in my car when I'm recording and now I understand why people on the go are always in their car recording. But anyways, I'm back at the post office before I head to the grocery store because I didn't get to do my eBay box that I needed to return. And um, so hopefully I'll be done with that and I can get my grocery before I have to pick up my little one. And that was my day. So actually, um, I did have more time to read this letter from the post office that I um, received. So I'm going to videotape, um, I'm showing my age, I'm going to record about this piece of paper because it's actually very, um, it's actually some exciting news. I thought it was just like a, oh, we declined to have informed delivery added to your uh, PO box but that's not the case so once I get home I will be able to get on the computer and see if the process actually uh, gets through with this uh, letter that they sent me so I will let you guys know and I'll probably make a video about that because I think it's gonna really help me I'm gonna make a video about it because um, you might run into this problem regarding a PO box and so hopefully my challenges and my experience with this will help other people, other moms out that can't just always check their PO box. So I have, um, I have, um, I like to think of him as my mentor. He's one of like the more knowledgeable people uh, with the six figure um, uh, community that knows about a bit about some stuff since he has been offline and online. Anyways, I'm going to pack up my box in the back and then I will um, 
finish this uh, 